Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel and another episode of the Battle for Astrakhazy. So this will be the final battle against the Reapers. The Dragon's Rejects are pushing forward to remove the remainder of the units. Alright, so here we are. This is a four skull um, battle against a Canopian unit. Now this is supposed to be like a high tonnage drop lance. Um, and I'm not really seeing that here. So they've got a support lance. I'm hoping that this is the support lance. But it wouldn't, like I, I could only drop around the edge of the map. So they must all be in here somewhere. So we're just going to push out, take take them out. Shouldn't take too long, I don't think. Who do we got? Retriever. Right so I got the standard group here again. We're just going to push forward. I, I can't target anybody in this range. On the move. Full speed. Which is good, which means hopefully they can't target us either. I chose to start here in the woods. As opposed to like starting up on the hill or whatever. Simply because it gave, I think it gives me a better line of sight on them. Oof. Well, limits their line of sight on all of us. Wow, that was bad. I didn't know there were going to be flyers like though, so that's hey, a different story. An armor over here. Armor's about falling off yeah, right there. spread the fuck out, man. Oh, spread out. No, 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 no. no. Reporting heavy damage. Spread out. Oh, took a hard hit there. Well, one good thing about this is we'll be able to grab a cascatel. That's the one thing this this playthrough is like missing right now is is good vehicles. Although that being said, I did uh, pull off a few... Hang on a minute, I gotta turn my headphones down. Holy crap, that's loud. Um, I did pull off a couple of um, side runs to make some sea bills in order to get our mechs that are in the bay up and running. I wanted to get the uh, legend killer going and I wanted to get the... Um, mm, no, you need to be in the center. And I wanted to get the Highlander going. So I got both of those up and going now. Well, they're in, they're in the repairs. So the Legend Killer, I was able to get a Clan XL in there. Uh, so it's good It's good to go. I'll be stripping everything off of this uh, Rifleman to put on that one. Now I've got Sam, I think. Not a lot of it, though. Um, oh, we can go that... And that probably when we get close enough. But yeah, the Highlander I was able to drop. A, I mean, I thought about dropping a, a uh, I got a 390 core. I thought about dropping that in there for 4-6 movement. But Commander? it didn't leave us much room for weapons and armor. The only way we're going to get weapons and armor in there is if, um, or sorry, um, like a lot of weapons in there is if we drop the Clan XL. On my way. As soon as I put the Clan XL in there, it was over 4 million to do it. I didn't have the C-Bills. So I got a 330 in engine in there, which gives us 3.5 movement, which isn't too, too, or no, sorry, it's a 300 core, which isn't too, too bad, which means it's going to have to be a long range fire platform. Okay, there's the, there's the mechs. And they got actually good range on us here. I got me a situation here. You do. It's going to be a stand up, straight out fight here. Lao who? Lao who? Lao you? All right, let's um. Aye, aye. See if we can get into range here. We can, but I want to stay in the trees. I think moving out of the trees is going to be bad for business. Let's just see what we got here. That's not bad. That's not bad. It's pretty going to be pretty much the same across the board. It looks like, except for you. Yeah, I got a feeling these guys are probably the guys we're going to have to kill fast. So, let's control burst this. Let's get on these cascatels really fast here. Oof, really? I'm here. Alright, Sarge. Out of PPC range. Not there, though. Yeah, we're out of the trees, but I think we got to shoot at these guys. We can get some... Ah, wow, that's terrible. Yeah, I forgot. I don't have... I got to get targeting okay, computers in these it. guys. Ooh, we got one on, though. 
order. Looks like I don't need to do 30. Tiger Tail's gonna be a different story here. Uh, stay in the trees, please. We can get the largest on, I think, from here. Yeah, let's just go here. Woof, really? Any better anywhere else? Wow, really? 25, marginally better. See if we can land one on this guy. Target acquired. Well, we got one on, that's all that matters. Yeah, you should see what the targeting's like in the, um... Waiting for orders. In the, um... Le the Legend Killer. Holy crap. Double time. I thought the targeting is good in this, in the, uh, Rifleman right now, man. It's built-in plus five extreme range targeting computer. Like, it's just insane. Um... Ooh, hmm. Don't think we're gonna land an EMP. Let's just drop some swarm. That's what it's there for. Take a shot at this guy. Right, Commander. Oh, you got AMS, do you? Didn't get all of them. Oh, this guy's got AMS. All right, fair enough. Yeah, the Legend Killer. It's like so. I think it's plus five extreme, plus three long for the built-in targeting computer. And then when you use fire control system predator, sensor trace. Looks like enemy reinforcements. Of course there is, because why wouldn't there be? And so it's plus two at extreme, plus one at long, and then the snipers are not sniper, but the um, tracker sensors is the same, plus two and plus one. Uh, where are you gonna fly off to? Let's start going this way. Accelerating two locations. See if we can get some eyes on who these new guys are. Looks like a vehicle back here. Petzer. Okay, not too, too bad. Hopefully it's not the LRM version. If it's not, I mean, we can kill it at range. I don't have to worry about it. Another vehicle. Okay. Hopefully the support lance is just vehicles. But yeah, so that's like extreme range is plus nine to hit. So... What are you using? Whatever it was, it's all gone. Probably... It could be, um... What's it called? Um... Not arrow. Um... Oh, it could have been arrow. It, it's Thunderbolt, probably. Oh! You little bastard! What do you got? Blown yeah. Heavy LRM carrier. Yeah, that guy's got to go. Yes, command. All right. Well, next turn. Let's close the gap. Going full throttle. I think these Cascatels are still the number one choice here. Thirty percent, eh? Seventeen. Yeah, we're still at a... Oh, there's a uh, hunchback down here. Yeah, I think we just go on this guy. Let's warlord this one. Might as well. 3% extra. That's fine. A lot of AMS. Sorry, we, we got shots on. That's all that matters. You, on the other hand... Uh, no. Um... I almost hit brace. They can still see you down here, huh? I'm gonna rotate you this way. Moving. We're gonna move our <laughs> we're gonna move our running back <laughs> to the other side. <laughs> I'm gonna have him go after the vehicles. Right here. Alright, so what do we got over here? Thumper, Chaparral, Heavy LRM Carrier, Fulcrum. That's pretty darn good chances. Pretty darn good chances. 
This guy's got to go. I think we use the quad missiles as well. If we land with the big one, he's done for. So let's save these guys. I think we should probably hit. Yes. Nice. He never should have left Geras. Got past the armor. So yeah, in a um, in an offline playthrough, I picked up two 60-ton carrier pieces for a, a clan LBX carrier, and two and one 60-ton okay. carrier piece for uh, AC-20 carrier. Off. So now I got four carrier pieces, and with that L LRM carrier, I might grab that out of this and the Cascatel parts. Uh, that'll Stand really, by. really help out our uh, vehicle game. I'm gonna walk it up now. On my way. Close the gap. This guy is still open for business. So let's take him. Confirm. All right. Ah, uh, there we go. Beautiful. Vehicle trashed. And we're up by two. Should be ten to nine now. 10v9. You yeah, outpaced the uh, AMS. On that I think the AMS Mark II is probably jammed at this point. But yeah, so we got four carrier parts. So there's a we uh, the carrier part that we had in, in storage was the triple mortar eight carrier. I'm kind of up in the air because the carriers are slow, right? They're like three five movement. So the question is, is if we go for a direct fire carrier, like right now, a lot of our vehicles, other than the Nidhog, our other vehicles are generally indirect fire. Stay in the trees. Understood. Um, and I like that because it keeps them out of harm's way, relatively out of harm's way. Three two. 32. Wait, what are you? Medicore. I think you've got a PPC. Looks like you've already been damaged. Not exactly sure why you'd be. 32 in the Medicore. Um, what else do we got here? You've already burned some missiles. We know about you. I know you got the. Uh, Goss rifle. I think we go after the this guy. See if we can take him down. And fire. Acknowledge. Yeah. So if we go with the mortars, then we have the indirect fire capability. I just don't know what the ammo is on him. I don't know if I can check that online or not. But okay. So he's the LRM version. Looks like he's a split version though. I bet you he's a split uh, TBM, like Thunderbolt and LRM. Good to go. You might as well come up to the front. Got if we it. can get you direct fire with flak, that would be nice. But I think you are way out of range for that. Um. Oh, you're not. That's interesting. I'm sure I tried this before at range and wasn't able to hit with it. Let's go with Warlord. Five with flak. All right. Got it. Nice. So yeah, kind of up in the air. I mean, we got two ultra tens, two AC twenties. Both of them have pretty good frontal Damage armor and minimal. okay side armor. Um, and then the yeah, mortar wow. carrier's got about a hundred points everywhere, which isn't too too bad overall. On my way. Okay, we got a direct line of sight on this guy. So... I'm, I gotta budget out the SAM ammo. We've only got a few turns left of that, so... Well, we got three turns of SAM ammo. Let's go this route. I think that's probably pretty fair. Let's go Warlord on this, though. I mean, I guess we could go full SAM on this guy. And part SAM on the other guy. Cause yeah, we might as well. So let's go all out. Oops, all out Sam on this guy, and we'll try and burn him now. 
and then we'll use 50, the last 50 rounds on the next guy plus chaff. Solid connection on that one. On bailout. Yeah. Anyway, so yeah, carriers are like. Here's the thing: if we make an LBX or an AC20 carrier, it's super slow, so it, its use is situational. Best use would probably be in a city, and it's going to be a bullet sponge. I know it's going to be a sponge for indirect fire. Um, it's just going to be a, a target overall. So I'm kind of leaning towards the mortar carrier. Well, it's got a, a lot like less armor. I'm gonna now we've got lots of ammo. I was gonna say I'm gonna save the incendiary, but we do more damage with that, so I don't know where we're gonna hit here. But hopefully we hit some good spots. Engaging time. No idea. There we go. Beautiful. Not exactly sure what that camera angle is supposed to be, but <laughs> it's like a film camera in the, in the uh, trees here. All right, cut. Um. Yeah. So the mortar carrier, I think could hang back with the uh, like it could just sort of sit behind the longbow and I don't know like if it's got fast cam ammo great if it's got inferno ammo great if it's got acid ammo even better like if it was acid ammo I would just love that you just pick our targets at that point oh, what's up boss okay um, move your slow ass up here actually let's go full speed Sounds good. Mm -hmm. and don't Moving shoot your fast. teammates in the back. We're going to fire in this other Cascatel. 28%. Yeah, we need targeting computers in this guy. Going to hold off using the uh, Warlord to we get a little closer. So I can get the tandems involved. So yeah, I think the mortar would probably work out better. Um, I hope we don't get like flare and smoke ammo and stuff with it. Yeah, you're pretty accurate. Reporting minimal damage. It's all right. You're probably going to be next here. This guy moved already. Missile artillery. So he's probably arrow. Uh, he's the arrow tank. We got one of the, yeah. Yeah, we've got one of those in the uh, other playthrough. Minimal damage on the that urban uh, urban mech playthrough. All right, who's up? Ready for oh, this. Walk it in. To position. Get our stability back. Once again, let's drop this guy if we can. Damn, really? Well, we gotta do it. Ooh, they both hit. Double ultra hit at 25%. Dude. Reporting. You're gonna get over here to fight these vehicles, and they're gonna be dead already. That uh, Nidhogg is going to kill them all, probably. Yes, Commander. But yeah, it's going to be like 60%, 54. It's actually not that bad percentage-wise over here. So let's get into here. It's opening us up to the uh, mechs, but I think we've got to go after these guys. Uh, so the Chaparral's got garbage armor, I believe. Actually, one wait, that wasn't 180 on the back, really. I guess because it fights running away or something. I don't know. I'm gonna put these on it though. Yeah, we missed the uh, big one. Oh well, no big deal. Thanatos, okay. Yeah, mess is back. No Armor idea what holding. damage we, they did to us, but yeah, mess is back. Good to go. All right, Rusty. Um, right out a little bit. Let's go on this side. No target. I know we're in the open, but that's fine. We'll deal. Still out of range. This guy's not moving, so we're gonna go. Let's use the warlord now. Roger. There we go. Got one on. Nice. 
Yeah, so I think if we put the mortar carrier with the, uh, let's, let's just have it travel around behind the um, longbow, because the longbow's got full armor, right? So it just sits behind the longbow, you know? Just constantly lobbing rounds. Where, like whoever the, lo the longbow's shooting at, that guy will shoot at. Hard hit there. So that guy's got AOE that rockets. One was a bad one right there. My armor's getting stripped off. Probably a good idea with shooting for him. Let's get in the trees here. Position confirmed. Man, the other, one thing I don't like about this guy and the um, the uh, rifleman is the low stability. Oof, this guy's in trouble. Overheating, huh? Let's roll the dice and go this way. All right, we got three on and a pen. Show me your war. Not a kill, but a penetration. Nice. So I think I might do that. Uh, the, AC, the double AC twenty carrier. We know from the from you know trying to run a Hetzer that it's just a bullet sponge. Like the playthroughs, whenever I run a Hetzer, it's just like. As soon as it's on the battlefield, by. the enemy is on it like, like there's no tomorrow. Confirmed. It's just I don't, I have no idea. The enemy definitely has a hate on for them. So, um, wow. Let's just uh, hopefully we get this. I'm taking the shot. Nice. Wow. The accuracy at range is nice. Down. Even with low percentages, that's really good. All right. There's the air power gone. So yeah, like I mean, the double AC-20 carrier and the double LBX-10 carrier, the, like the LBX-10 carrier has got three LRM-5s as well, um, which isn't too bad. I mean, it kind of gives it that indirect capability when it's slowly moving up, but I don't think it's worth the investment if it's just going to get targeted. And the Hetzer has got about the same amount of armor as it, right? And it's 10 tons less, so yeah, I don't know. I think the mortar carrier is probably the way to go. But if we can get some more carrier pieces... Don't fall down. You're falling down. I can't take much... I don't know how many times I've got a mech to that point. And they haven't fallen down on me. Waiting for orders. Location confirmed. Tell you what. I'm gonna need a, a medic. Who gets the face full of death here? I think we're gonna go... This is the guy we shot at with our other guy. Wow, a chance to hit. Man, what's going on? We can't see a damn thing. That's why. Let's go this route. Hopefully we land a few. And if not, maybe he'll be sitting in fire and take a bit of damage anyway. Yeah, damn right you're panicking. Commander? Full speed sounds good. Yeah, it's uh, switch out of. Fl I, I think it's out of range for direct. Yeah, it is. So if we go indirect, fire on this guy. Let's switch to incendiary. Tell me what to shoot. Did we not light up his? Uh, we didn't. I was hoping we'd light his hex up, but we didn't. Yeah, I think he's a TBM LRM carrier or something like that. But if we get enough pieces to put together that LBX, LBX-10 carrier with the two LRM-5s, I might do that too. Standing by. Because that can be a secondary, um, that can be a, a, you know, a secondary, like a second line unit that we uh, just bring out when we need it. Roger. So it'll sit back with the longbow, and then if we need the extra firepower, we can roll it forward. Ah, uh, see if we can heat this guy up a little bit. Firing nope. Not today. 
Got to run another turn before that hunchback comes up. Is this the, uh, it's the 4E with the thumper artillery. Okay. I think it's limited range, though. All right, starting to close. Starting to get some more guns into play here. Oof. That doesn't do anything. Could leave the LRM off for now. Um, yeah, let's go this way. Okay. Commander. So I still haven't got their latest patch installed yet. Let's get right in on these guys. So they can't use their long range weapons on us because we'll be inside the, uh, the range here. So this is the Chaparral. With the arrow, two medium lasers. So the other guys, I know the other guys got machine guns. So let's drop a couple tandems on this guy. Uh, and we'll go this road too, might as well. So if we're going to go that route, let's take this tandem off and put this one on. That should probably be enough. If we hit for crying out loud. Bail out. SRMs are Bail out. Gone. Ah. Usually sometimes when it... That usually sometimes. When it hangs like that, I'm just expecting for a bailout there, but don't always get it. Alright, just pull Roger back here. That. Do a... Uh, Fishtail, I'm gonna take a shot at this guy. Uh, yeah. Ah, we hit, nice. Die, no, he didn't die. Uh, he's got chunky armor though, so. All right, fair enough. I'm being flanked. Yeah, he ain't hitting shit. I think he got lucky personally. <laughs> I think you got lucky. I think you probably had a really good chance to hit and just whiffed it. Um, issues with heat. Let's go right here. Still issues with heat, but that's fine. We're going to unload with controlled bursts to reduce recoil and misfire chance and just open up on this guy. Firing. Welcome to the party, Richter. Yes, Commander. All right, you knock down the uh, archer. It's time for a little payback. I'm not in this for for parts. I already I already got what I want. So, whatever we get, we get. Firing. Change. We're gonna get the chaparral parts. Yeah, enjoy it. Have a seat, buddy. What is that flying around there? Was that Waiting pieces forward. of the mech or something? What was flying right, around there? I don't know. Whatever. Let's see if we can land a sniper shot in his head. Firing on target. Nah, well, it would have been hilarious if we did, though. Critical hit, Commander. Give him a little bit of heat. Waiting for orders. All right, Tiger. He's all yours. Aye, aye. He's all yours. This goes out. Quick go after his head. We're going to use the incendiaries. Acknowledged. Alright, so now Probably even if he does get up and that. tries to shoot- Ah, we lost the Goss double. Even if he does get up and try to shoot, he might go into overheat. Yeah, I was really hoping for more. I don't know what would be considered the high tonnage lance out of that. Maybe the three- The three Cascatels and, and this mech here, maybe? I don't know. I'm getting pummeled. Yeah, you okay. Standing by. Although some of those vehicles should have been dead by now. Roger. 
Flames on the way. It's because you were standing in them. There you go. Still going for the headshots. Ah, uh, yeah, we're using sentries. Attacking from position. Yep, yeah, got the engine. Destroyed. Oh, we did hit his head though. Not sure what with. Yes. Use the machine guns. Receiving you. The more you use the machine guns, the less chance you've got of using that thumper on one of our important guys. Let's run up to here. Get a I'm shot in this Hetzer. Full speed. I know we're in front of the longbow, but that's fine. Um, yeah, tandems are fine. That's actually a good number of hits. Kind of shocked with that. But we've been hitting good low percentage shots too, which is awesome. So, I want to take a couple seconds as we're going here. I wasn't going to talk about it, but it's nice that, that everyone's uh, posting on Discord. I want to apologize because I'm kind of new to Discord, so um, I may have messed up a little bit with the with the links getting to Discord. Um, if you're finding it's difficult getting on the Discord site, let me know. and I can send you an invite link in the uh, discussion channel on my YouTube page. Um, I reposted the link. God damn it. Fucking machine guns. I was saying yes a second ago to shoot machine guns. Now I'm saying no. Uh, so I, I, I think I've got the proper invite, proper link there now. So go and check it out if you're interested in doing, like, con contributing to the next series. Um, this weekend's going to be. I'm going to be posting another video this weekend with the situation I'm report. Minor damage. So we'll get an idea what the what the campaign's going to be. And if you're not into it, you can pull out at that point. But you know, actually, you can pull at any time. Doesn't really matter. But um, yeah, so it just it's just so that um, we know who's playing, and if you've had a problem getting onto Discord, because the way that we're, I'm I'm running this is, uh, let's go up to this guy, um, that we have to have our info in by Friday. But if you've had trouble getting on the Discord, I can extend that. That's fine. Um, just let me know. But I think reporting has to happen through Discord, I think, because it's really the only platform that's going to work well you got um, with the back and forth communication because I can set up individual channels for different things, which I will be doing. Um, and there's a few there's a few different channels there now. Let's go after you. I'm trying to make them as self-explanatory as possible. If, if, in my mind, they're self-explanatory, but I'm also finding out too through, through a lot of people that the way I think and do things isn't necessarily the way that most people think. So if you're finding it difficult to find stuff, just you know, hit me up, let me know in a comment of a video or post in the Discord, whatever. Still which I haven't actually checked today, but I will. Still going though. Bad day at work for me. Aye, aye. I'm not sure if the guy that I uh, I was talking to earlier today. Um, on my way. He's actually watching this video. He's, he's, he's actually going through some of my older videos. But yeah, if you are, once again, I apologize. I was having a bad day and, you know, apologize for my comments. Or I guess the shortness of my comments is, is all I'm going to say. Because I was pretty short and I I recognize that I was. But it's that that's all on me and I apologize. Just had a bit of a difference of opinion and that's fine. I, I, normally I'm fine with differences of opinion. I'm okay with that. I, it's Everyone's different. Every, everybody's a different person. Right? We're all going to have different beliefs. And that's okay. As long as we're not harming each other. That's the most important thing, right? God damn it. Two wounds. Can we get some of this done over here, please? Um, what do you have a better chance of killing? Probably the thumper. Okay, we'll get the other side oh, turned right. away. I hope I'm not getting the side wrong. Should have the other side turned away now, right? This side is here. So that should be turned away. Let's go after this guy again. All out. There we go. Oops, that was the wrong one. I wanted this guy. See, I'm talking and not paying attention. 
How often does that happen in my life? Jesus. I'm here. Jesus, holy Jesus. Uh, let's go with you. You're loving the fire today. What's up with that? Oh, you're okay here though. Let's go over here. Can leave that hunchback for now. I want to go after this guy. Hmm. Looks like you're out. When did he use the mind dispenser? I wonder if he missed his attack with the mind dispenser and it ended up somewhere else. So this is the hunchback. That's where the thumper is. Let's go after the leg. Uh, we've got a problem with heat though. We'll deal with it by doing this and... Let's go acid. That's fine. Warlord this. Confirm. Yo. Yo. Fire. Roger. There goes that leg. There goes the whole back. Damn it. Little overkill. I wasn't expecting them all to hit. Ready for orders. Hi, Tiger. Hetzer is yours. Hetzer is yours. And we'll stick with Incendiary. Ah, sure. Wow, really? Laser didn't hit. Yeah, anyway, so if you guys can get your stuff in by Friday, that'd be great. This first, I'm expecting this first um, run through, um, like this first scenario to be a little bit um, choppy and like, you know, unpredictable. And I'm okay with that. Um, I'm trying to iron out a few things in my head still on how stuff's going to work. Um, but yeah, it's going to be choppy to, to begin with and stuff, so... Feel free to speak up if you're if you're finding things either confusing or if you think there's information missing or you need information on something. Um, because sometimes in my head I think I'm clear, but and it's not always the case. Help! I'm getting flanked. Yeah, relax. You're good. Don't panic. I just realized I'm sitting on the fusion reactor. <laughs> you're flying in a fusion reactor. You mean? All right, you get the headsa. You get the headsa. Everybody gets a headsa. LRM 10 PPC. Wait a minute. Oh, that's the manicore. Better chance. But this guy's still a threat. So. Although he's got no frontal armor, pretty much. Let's just do him. I'll die. No, but he's... Is he sitting on fire? Yeah, so he'll take some damage when he moves. Here comes a suicide. Suicide run. If he saved his mines, he could be deadly, but... He didn't. Ah, oh, man. That puts me in a, uh... You're damaged on this side. I'd have a chance to hit it from the front. So let's do that. I'm on my way. Actually, we got tandem, so doesn't matter where we shoot him from, I guess. We're gonna heat up here, but I'm okay with that. Let's hammer him. Not enough. That was a critical Bail. hit. Nope, not bailing All out either. Short range missiles. Okay, Manicor. Location confirmed. Mortars and grenade launchers on the Manicor till it's gone. Everybody else goes straight in. Forget about going around. You guys have watched Band of Brothers. You know what that's from. I'm out of short range missiles. So that yes, scenario, on, from what I understand, um. So Spears took control of Easy Company to take them into Foy, I believe it was Foy. Um, mm, mm. 
Oh, you're open. Let's save this so we don't hit our own guy. There we go. So he took over for Dyke. They made Dyke look like a total idiot, I think, in the in the uh, film, and he may have been, I guess, ineffectual is the word, but I, but apparently he wasn't a total like f up, you know. Copy that. Um, but anyway, so Spears took over, and that whole bit where he connects with I Company, where he runs through the town. Apparently, that's that story is true. He does run through the town. But it wasn't to hook up with I Company to stop the Germans from slipping away. It was to hook up with I Company because they were firing on Easy Company's position, thinking they were the Germans. So he was trying to get them to stop. Acknowledged. So it's slightly different. I mean, changing it doesn't really matter. I mean, Spears is a hero regardless of whether or not you, it's that way or or the other way. I mean, what difference does it make, right? He still ran through the German lines to hook up with I Company, right? It's not like that didn't happen. Just the reason for it happening was a little different. Right? And it's like, but who wants to... I mean, why would you want to talk about friendly fire like that and on Band of Brothers when the outcome is pretty much the same, you know? The, a the actual act wasn't changed in any way. You're always being flanked. Just don't die. I don't like how this is going. We're getting a Cascatel, but I can't... I don't want to trade the... Uh, Trade the Nidhog to get it. All right, let's get you over here. I thought he was missing an arm for a second, then I realized that is his arm. Um, no. Uh, yeah. Affirmative. Well, you hit the <laughs> hit the head, sir. Anyway, whatever. You do, you, buddy. Reporting. All right, Skull. Affirmative. You know your job now. Yeah, and I also learned something interesting the other day. Here we go. And I, I, I heard rough stories, but I, I didn't actually know the facts. I'm here. Um, so, History Buffs, Ooh, another, another YouTube channel, did a um, two-part series on the movie The, uh, the Battle of Midway. Uh, which I haven't seen yet. I haven't seen the movie yet. But he did a, a review on it. And he was saying at the end of the film... I won't, I won't go through the whole thing. Um, but he said at the end of the film, the filmmakers... Um, you know... Um, sort of dedicated it to all the Japanese and American soldiers who fought in you know World War II in the Pacific, right? And he's like, I disagree with that statement and here's why. They shouldn't have acknowledged the Japanese sailors because of how brutal they actually were. Um, so, and I was, I, I, in a way I was shocked to hear it, but in a way I wasn't. So, inflicted some heavy damage. I guess they fished two of the Americans out of the water um, after the, after the first, I think it was the first attack or the second attack on the Japanese carriers at Midway. I can't remember what it, which one it was. But they, they fished two of the pilots out and they beat them to a pulp, um, trying to get them to reveal what carriers they were from and what the location of their fleet, um, which apparently they gave in and told them, told the Japanese what they wanted to know. And then they yeah, basically they attached them to old, I think it was old shell casings, uh, and tossed them overboard. Location confirmed. Obviously drowning them, right? Um, but that wasn't the only you know, atrocities that the, uh, I, in a way you can kind of understand why they did it because they were so upset they just lost four carriers, right? That, like, to them that was the end of the war, right? And it was. Let's actually go with, uh, let's go with heat. Um, but apparently, like, on merchant ships, the Japanese would capture merchant ships and then, you know, there was a, a one recorded instance where I think it was a crew of I don't know how many. I don't want to miscount how many crew members there were, but there was a, it was actually a half decent sized crew. Um, the Japanese took the ship, took them on board, um, beheaded them all, and threw them over the over the ship as uh, shark bait. So yeah, they were like, <laughs> that's brutal. 
right? I know it's war, but still it's like... Still, AMS still firing even after the mech, mech, expl mech explodes. That's that, uh, that's that gun death where the, uh, the henchman dies and he falls back shooting the gun in the air. <laughs> shooting the gun in the air as he falls over. Uh, anyway, that's, uh, that's, I, I just found it, I don't want to say shocking, but it was, um, a little disturbing, I guess, in a way. Because you want to think that, you know, Moving see, here's the position. thing. I, I know some units during the um, D-Day landings were told that you know taking prisoners is just going to slow you down. I don't think there was any. Well, there may have been. I, I know there has been reports about the Americans and the Canadians um, getting direct reports that uh, are being directly told that don't take prisoners. Confirmed. Whether it was an order in writing or not. Um, Probably not likely, but it, it makes sense, right? Because it's just going to slow you down, and it's going to cost the lives of thousands of soldiers, right? Uh, if you don't obtain your objective. Ready for orders. So I get that. But there's a difference between that and... Acknowledged. Capturing merchants and beheading them. It's a, like, it's a totally different thing, right? I, I don't know. Maybe it is, maybe it isn't. Anyway, let's finish these guys off. He says... I could take this guy a prisoner, but... He doesn't want to be a prisoner, so... Roger. He's got to go! Plus, this isn't real. <laughs> so... I'm here. Uh, oh yeah, the other thing too is... Um, let me know what you guys... How you guys are feeling about the ads on the video. So, YouTube has changed this policy where they're, they basically said, okay, I'm you know, on. we can put ads on any video we want now. Um, so in the light of that, any I'm like, if they're going to put ads on my videos anyway, I might as well just like monetize. So that I went ahead and monetized my videos because I figure I might as well get paid <laughs> for them I'm advertising on my content. Um, and I, had, I totally get it. It's their platform. I, I'm not angry or anything like that. I'm just saying. But um, if you guys find that the, like, I have kind of control over where, over where the ads go, and I kind of don't. Um, so somebody had mentioned that I w there was like a ton of um, ton of ads during one of my um, Seven Days to Die videos. So I tried to cut out the ads in the center of the video. So if ads play, they'll play at the beginning at the end. I don't know what the ratio is because I don't really watch my own videos on YouTube. I've gone back to, and played a few and it looks like there's a video that plays at the beginning um, but let me know what you think I can dial it back too if that's an issue I can put them at the end or what I don't know let me know how you feel and it's not like I'm making a lot of money <laughs> the money's pretty small I gotta say it's not like I'm gonna be doing this as a career anytime soon well maybe I will if Here I was like go. if I was living on a pack of smokes a month maybe uh, it's fire off. Roger that. Uh. Nice. Enjoy the fire, buddy. I want the, uh... I'm here. Okay, you can just stay there. Got it. I'm not gonna get there in time. Rusty might, though. Double time. Let's go. You might get there in time. Yeah, my, um... Commander. My dad used to tell me, well, I didn't, I asked my dad one time, there's an, there's an old guy that used to be up at my parents' cottage that used to do garage sales every weekend. This guy used to go and find stuff everywhere, like, you know, old games, whatever he could find. Then he would, like, you know, if he had, like, an old game, he would make sure all of the pieces were there before he would sell it. So he would go around finding similar games and then... Um, you know, assemble it all, like turn, turn them all into one game so the game had all the pieces and all that. Then he would have this, you know, garage sale every weekend. And people used to come all around for his garage sales because it was every weekend. And he had some half decent stuff sometimes, and other times it was like just garbage. But I mean, um, standing by. So I used to ask my dad, I said, does he make a lot of money off that? 
Yes, Commander. And my dad's like, no, nah, he, he makes enough to buy his cigars at the end of the month, and that's about it. Because the guy used to smoke cigars all the time. He's like, yeah, he makes enough to uh, to buy his cigars, and that's about it. And I'm like, yeah, you know, sure. Plus, it keeps him busy. Wow. Okay. Um, sure. Roger that. Guy's stealthy as fuck. I guess because he's maybe he's in the trees and maybe had a bad sensor roll and maybe it's because of the fire. I don't know. It's interesting. He's gonna hang in there. He's gonna hang in there. The dog's got one shot left, oh so. Boy. Heavy hit there. Yeah, was it? That medium laser was a heavy hit, was it? Commander. Alright. Let's see if we can claim this guy. Take Unlikely. Come on, come on, bail out, bail out, bail out. You know you want to bail out. Nope. Apparently he wants to fight to the end. Waiting for orders. Confirmed. Holding. Yeah, so just let me know. I'm hoping to like roll whatever money I I get out of the channel. Um back into buying video like video games and stuff that I can play on the channel. And I might open up a uh, discussion for people that, you know, might want to see me play whatever. And like once I get X amount of dollars I'll throw up a vote and see what people want it, want me to play and I'll just buy the game and play it. There we go. Finally! Uh-huh. That'll do. There you go. Mission successful. Alright, here we are. So I'm thinking about the next stage of this campaign and I think we're going to be going on to one of the radiated worlds. And that's probably going to have to cause me to, like, change my loadouts. Because I think it's, like, plus 50% heat or something or more. Alright, we're going to grab three... Wow, we've only got one choice here. I think these are all the same, right? Thunderbolt missile, Mars, arrow, light A missile. That's the same. So you got a bomb rack Inferno. Four rocket pack 15s quad missile. So these are two of the same and then one different. <sighs> Do I? Four LRM 20 Zeus's. Do we go movement 2 3 though? It's like so slow. No, I think we go this route and I think. One Thunderbolt missile. Does that mean one missile? Or does that mean one missile? This one's got way more armor, though. Mars, medium laser, Agra. Two arrow, four missiles. I think it's single missiles. Which means once they're spent, we're down to two medium lasers. So let's go with the other one. That's this guy. Let's go with that. Are these guys exactly the same, or...? Yeah. I don't know if that's a good I don't know if that's a good pick, though. Oh, we got two of three. Oh, man. That's a lot of armor for a thumper piece. And then we can trade out... Like I can, I can ditch the um, Helopolis. Lao Hu, Lao Hu, Lao Yu, seventy-five ton mech. Uh, powerful Gauss rifle. Three LRM five launchers. So we've got two ballistic, two missile. Or three missile, two laser, and one support. I don't want to look down here because then I'm going to be like, ah, I should grab, I should grab X or I should grab Y, like two medium pulse lasers, or X pulses. So Thunderbolt missile. So this is what came off of those Cascatels. 
it's a single shot. So yeah, I thought so. A lot of XL engines, but no fire control system scatter? What is this? Modify shots scatter by minimum minus 10%, maximum minus 20% distance. So if that was, like if you were laying mines, that would tighten the minefield, wouldn't it? Am I wrong? Ah, there's so much good stuff. Portisite double heat sinks, scent tracker sensors, supercharger, aero ammo. No TBM-10, eh? I still want to get those uh, pirate uh, TBM-30s going, but I, I, I'm having an impossible time trying to find Thunderbolt 10 um, ammo. I got two tons, but that's nothing. It's got Apparently it's got three shoot three fire modes single shot triple shot and six times shot so I can fire six rounds in one shot with a 50% chance of jamming of course but still um, I could grab it you know what I'm gonna I don't think the Cascatel's got the juice to do what we want, but what I think we can do is we can grab one of these guys and then we grab these, oh, these are heavy carrier pieces. I was going to say we grab two carrier pieces and put together two carriers, like heavy carriers, but these are assault class. And I don't know if we've got another heavy carrier piece. Uh, Manticore heavy tank. Pretty good armor. PPC LRM 10. What's the speed on this? 4.6? I mean, it's still ranged. Uh, there's nothing else I really want out of this. Maybe we just take the two heavy carrier parts. I need vehicles. So let's go that route. That way we can retire the Hetzer. Like we have a Hetzer LRM. But it's got it's got a pair of LRM 15s rather than just one. Um I don't know, I'm indecisive. I gotta start waffling. Should have got off the pot, dude. Um, we could take the fire control system scatter. Now, you know what? I'm not going to use this. I would rather use an Artemis system on a missile launcher. Or maybe it's the... Is it even the, the fragment scatter from a artillery round? Like, where did these come off of? These probably came off the two vehicles. Like the uh, the Thumper and the Arrow vehicle. This probably came off one of the LRM carriers. What are the... Or maybe... Or the LRM carrier, sorry. Scatters, maybe they came off of the Nidhogs. I don't know. How many prototype double heat sinks do we have? Four. So we're okay there. I think we got tracker sensors. We've got one. I think that's okay as well. Ah, just, just do it. Alright, we got one Cascatel part. Uh, Manticore tank parts, two of them. Thanatos part. We got the extra thumper part, which is good because if we lose it, at least we got a, an extra part to help put it back together again. We don't need the LRM 10. Uh, the 200 core, we got one, so we can sell that one. Sell the internal combustion engines. We got the scatter, so that's interesting. Drop that. Follow the leader missiles. I'm going to hang on to that. It's plus, plus 50 clustering. So if we hit, all the missiles pretty much go to the same spot, which is nice. If it's the spot you want, it's nice. <laughs> if it's not the spot you want, then it's not nice. Uh, all right. I don't think we got garbage out of that, but whatever. All right, let's quickly have a look at the mech bay here. So, the Highlander and the Rifleman are getting up and running. Now, we do have a ton 
like a ton. Oh shoot, what do we lose here? What do we lose here? These won't be a rocket pod. Um. Oh, it was a hip damage. Wow, zero C bills, eh? Beautiful. <laughs> Talk about cost effective. Um, so, the shootest. Well, the Highlander came back with nothing in it. We got one damaged heavy jump jet, and that was it. So, the shootest, using the uh, Zeus model here. Uh, or is that the Battlemaster model? I can't remember. There's like nothing on this thing. And even. Like, if we repair it, it's a command mech. But. It's got like one laser, one laser, one like a handful of hard points, four laser, one ballistic, ballistic in the arm. So to me, this thing is not really worth putting together. It's kind of interesting. I mean, it looks kind of goofy here, but it's not really a mech that I want to throw together and spend my C bills on because I got so much other stuff to spend C bills on. So this guy, we're going to trash or just sell. And then we'll do the same thing with the crossbow because this guy, once again, has got limited hard points. I guess I'm just getting too used to having a half decent amount of hard points. Modular weapons, what's this thing give us? Chassis has omni slots. Well, that's interesting. But here's the thing. It's omni slots, but we can only put one weapon in the, there. We can only put one weapon here and one weapon here. So we can only put three weapons on it and one support. So... I mean, if this was early game, this is like a heavy 60 ton heavy mech, that would actually be a pretty good find because then you could just outfit it however you wanted to outfit it, right? Uh, but in the later stages of the game, eh, not so, not so much. So we're going to sell this. Like, I mean, it would cost me like half a mil just to get it back up and running again, and then I still have to put everything in it. So we're going to ditch this guy as well, unfortunately. It's just, it's, it's a money sink I don't want to be putting in, putting stuff into. So we're going to go ahead and... Get rid of you, scrap, and get rid of you, scrap. And what I'm probably going to do, I'm going to move these guys down here for a second. What I'm probably going to do is I'm going to put together um, probably you, Let's move you back here. I'm going to put together three lances eventually, um, and probably you and you. It'll probably be more like this. Um, but we're going to have a heavier lance and then we're going to have a second lance with like a few heavies and some mediums and stuff and then I'm going to have a clan lance so I'm going to put together a bunch of clan mechs because we do have a bunch of them in storage and I was thinking about like not using them at all but then I'm like eh, oh, we do have enough heavy, heavy carrier parts well that's nice 10 large chem lasers. I think I would prefer having this guy over this guy, but I can't put this one together. Because the armor is bigger. Although this guy could just say way, way back. Gotta think about that. Anyway, um, we do have a bunch of clan mechs. We've got the Warhawk that I want to put together. And then we've got... I know I've got an Orion we're going to put together for main lances. Um... The Babcatha we've got still. we got like enough to put together two summoners, almost three. Um, and there, there's the carrier parts. And then we've got down here, uh, we've got Stormcrow parts. A bunch of them, enough to put together two more Stormcrows if we want. And then um, Hunchback 2C. And we got the uh, we got enough to put together like a Talos and everything. So, I don't know. I'm, i got to figure out what I'm going to put together and what I'm going to get rid of. I sold off most of my cheaper stuff. I'll probably go up to actually 45 or tons probably or more and just sell off a bunch of stuff that we don't need. Um, but yeah, and then I'll put together three different lances and then I can run three different, like three different uh, shorter missions, three different playthroughs and then come together, like include a bigger um, playthrough and do like a five skull or something for end of the, each end of the, like each week, we'll, at end of each week we can do like a five skull mission that'll be a little longer. That way, um, you know, people aren't trying to catch up on a lot of the videos so like during the week they'll be shorter like between like I don't know like 30 minutes and less than just under an hour probably and then the, the one on the weekend or just before the weekend can be a couple of hours long maybe or something like that I don't know let me know what you think in the comments I'm going to do the same thing with for the um, for the uh, night guns as well 
uh, and get the lances laid out. And this way it'll be like, I mean, I've got the, I've got it set up for max salvage and everything. So generating sea bills in order to get everything running and stuff. Um, shouldn't be too much of a problem for me. It's just playing the actual games to actually get that done. So, but yeah, um, that's about it. I think what we'll do though is let's have a look real quick. So vehicle wise, we've got the Hetzer, the Nidhogg and a Pegasus. The Pegasus is not bad for those missions where it's like you want to have a bit of mobility uh, and some striking power because this thing's actually relatively fast, A12. And it's got three SRM6s, so it's one of those backstabbers. It's kind of like the um, the uh, the Bandit in the uh, Night Guns playthrough. So I, I don't mind having this here. And the armor is okay. Like, it's enough to take a few hits, and then it just gets, gets away, right? That's the goal. Um, but the Hetzer, it's a bullet sponge. So I think I'm just going to put that in storage for now. Um, and then, uh, yeah, we'll bring forward a, like a couple of carriers. Probably the LRM heavy LRM carrier and the mortar carrier. Um, so we can take on those heavier missions and I'll have the artillery for... Um, we'll have the longbow plus a couple of vehicles for artillery. And then the Nidhogg and then hopefully we can get another aircraft uh, we can use for spotting and just like, you know, flanking and stuff. Um, yeah. Anyway, I'm going to leave this episode here, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, drop a like. If you haven't subscribed, please feel free to subscribe. You can also drop any comments in the comment section down below. Until next time, we'll see you later.